I love the script because it does navigate between so many different genres. It doesn't live in one space, you know, it starts off as a rom-com and then quickly turns into somewhat of a horror film. And then this beautiful story, love story that's wrapped in, in comedy. Um, I felt like it was a reflection of how we walk through life. Can I ask you something? What took you so long to respond to me? I didn't feel like being alone. Not tonight. So you turned to Tinder. What made you pick me? I liked your picture. You had this sad look on your face. I felt sorry for you. Damn. So many people can be, friends, can be with friends with someone for 10 years and not know things about them. Mm -hmm. And so I really wanted to feel honest and authentic in that, you know, if you spend a few days with a person, you're going to become, you know, you're going to know things about them. But ultimately, it takes a while for them to reveal those layers. And so I was really happy that the audience gets to know these characters as they get to know each other. But it's interesting to work with a woman who's just like, is so clear about her vision. You know, it's inspiring. The two of them together, it's just like, it, it just felt iconic. It just felt powerful. As long as my lady remembers me fondly, it's all I need. I love that in the first, like, probably 15 minutes of the film, he kind of says what he wants. <laughs> like, it, you rarely get that and, like, kind of go... Because rarely, usually in film, like, the character doesn't know that yet. And the, the journey is to find that out, what's important. And he just goes, I want to see my family. I want to go home. And I love that honesty and the vulnerability. Like, that was, there was real strength in how vulnerable he was. You know, I thought it was so interesting, the journey that she goes on. That was one of the most beautiful things about it for me because I think that people can tend to look at black women as, as, as one-dimensional or be, they can be portrayed that way, do you know what I mean? And the fact that she was who she was when we find her because of the trauma that she had and something that I think any woman can relate to, this idea that you hold everything in because you have to be okay. Um, and that she goes on this journey of just like opening. I thought that was really beautiful because uh, that's another thing. I don't think people ever really show the tenderness of black women. And I loved that this, you know, this is allowing this woman to live and exist in that space. I think the biggest challenge, honestly, was was maintaining the tension mm -hmm. of the chase, you know, because that wasn't on the page. It's another reason I love the script. It's like Lena writes and she defies like all standards of writing and what's traditional. And so we didn't we didn't have a, a chase to to cut to. We didn't have a cop to cut to. How close? How far are they? So I had to really do that through the filmmaking, you know, through how I shot it, what it sounded like, the music. So, so that was an incredible challenge, you know, for me that, that I quite enjoyed. Mm -hmm. And I just loved doing something different that, that felt honest, that felt authentic, and that felt like a true reflection of life. Don't worry, you're safe here. It's an honor to meet y'all. Y'all really gave us something to believe in. The music choices, I really wanted to be a sonic journey, you know, through America. I wanted it to show the myriad of, of black voices and our history that's rooted in soul music and how that falls and finds its way into hip hop and, and R&B and Afrobeat um, and be this like, you know, just joining together of so many black artists and, and really show off new artists as well as, as older ones. Step out of the vehicle. Can I ask why, officer? No, you may not. Put your hands on the head and get on the ground now. Are you serious? Get on the ground! Why is he under arrest? Get back in the car! I am an attorney. Damn, I'm just reaching for my cell phone. And then when I watched it the first time, I was just like, it's got such a soul. It's got such a soul. And I, I, it moves me, and I don't actually know how I feel after, but I know it's, I'm deeply touched yeah. by the work Melina's done in this film. Thank you for this journey, no matter how it ends. I don't think I have like a specific thing that I want people to feel. I think the whole point is just to make them feel. Whatever it is they take away from it, you know, is, is well, I think will reflect what they bring to it. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I know people want us to tell them what mm -hmm. we want their takeaway to be, but I think it, it does a disservice to the audience. There are going to be some audience members that walk out and, and don't get it, because there have been some that are like, mm -hmm. I don't get what that was. I was all the hype about. And there have also been people that are like, I got to see that again. That was amazing. Mm -hmm. Some people say, oh my God, this is a masterpiece and waiting. Like, what I think it proves is that what your experiences are will help affect how you take in this film. Mm -hmm. And um, and I Which definitely- Which is what art is. Yeah. You know, it's all about bringing your own perspective and your own For translation. Sure. Um, you know, I've never been to a museum and, saw, and seen an artist next to their painting explaining, explaining it. you know, their <laughs> motivations behind right. each stroke. And so, you know, we want you to, to bring in your own sense of history and your right. own self to, to this film and, and take what you want. We have to go now. 
thank you for watching Picture House Cinema's unique video content. Hit the subscribe button to be kept up to date with our movie news, cast and crew interviews, highlights, trailers and lots more.